Are you thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, but you're not exactly sure if that is for you? Or you have tried a few times, but you have failed. Or maybe you are currently on your journey, but you're not exactly sure you're taking the right path and if you're doing the right things. Follow along on this podcast where I will be sharing my entrepreneurial journey with you all. I will be sharing my successes, my failures, and also my challenges. The best part is I will also be interviewing fellow entrepreneurs that will be sharing their stories and their successes. This is my podcast, Entrepreneurial Journey, and I am Joy Nicholson. Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I have Jamar, and he is going to have an interview with me. And as you guys know, I started this podcast to tell you guys about my entrepreneurial journey. And I thought, what better way to add to that than to interview fellow entrepreneurs that's been on this journey already and share their struggles and their um, concepts and their successes. So, Jamar, how are you doing? Hello. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into the questions. <clears throat> so Jamar, um, before I do that, Jamar is from Wisconsin and he's got his own video production company for the last four years and it is called Forever Productions. Right. Yes. Yep. And um, so first of all, before we just go more into your business, because I do want to know all about that a little bit later on, uh, where are you, are you, obviously you're from Wisconsin, have you always lived there or you know, where have you originally always been? Uh, no, so I was actually born in North Carolina um, and moved around a lot as a kid. So lived in um, Virginia and different parts of the East Coast and then uh, just ended up in Wisconsin. Okay. So it's been here ever since. Nice. And what's your favorite thing to do? Like what is your favorite past time thing to do? Tell the audience a little bit about your hobbies and I mean, I've been uh, yeah. in well, the background, so that's one given. <laughs> I had to promote a little bit, you know, um, I love comic book, um, anything comic book related things, uh, video games, my pastime and, uh, and probably learning. I, I love to, uh, just like indulge myself in, uh, different like skills and trying to learn different things. I'm kind of like, uh, I just, uh, knowledge, you know, I just like to have as much knowledge as I can about things. So I'll just watch stuff on YouTube or audiobooks and, um, and that's just the honest truth. This is what I like to do in my, in my pastime. That's awesome. It's great to always keep your mind engaged and learn things, eh? And, yeah, um, yeah. have you, yeah, have you sure. always come from a family of entrepreneurs or is it just something that you decided to do one day? Yeah. I mean, um, my family, um, not really a family of entrepreneurs. Um, I would say, I mean, my dad is, has did some things in, in his time as far as um, some entrepreneurial type things, uh, the mindset of that. Um, that's not the, the route that he, you know, overall took, but um, it was always talked about, about different things. And I think that uh, as an entrepreneur, either you have it in your mind that you want to do something on your own, um, or it kind of chooses you on, on how you, you know, how things just develop. And, and so that's kind of what happened with me is that I've always was independent, want to do my own thing, but uh, over time, you know, it just kind of chose me where I'm like, hey, I, I really want to work for myself and, and make an impact on my own. Yes, definitely. And um, that that bug just bites you, hey? <clears throat> you can't get away from that once it's got yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. I get that. Um, <clears throat> so has, um, has your company Forever Productions always been your first venture of business or have you tried previous businesses before uh yeah it's it's my first official one i would say um back in the day i would say music was really my first um entry point into entrepreneurship um just as a musician or an artist you pretty much do all the same things you market yourself you try to get your name out you're selling a product which is your music um and so it's it's really the same concept um of business so I think that was my first time and then um, but this is with video production it's definitely uh, it's definitely gone take me places <laughs> that's sure. awesome that sounds really really awesome how did you get the idea of your business uh, I've always been a creative person always um, so from music or visually um, even in school um, just you know just being kind of a tech tech type person um, so I've always been kind of an artist in the way of imagery and 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 seeing that you know yeah. so 
really, um, I just started to, when I first started my business, I, I started with, uh, I had like 20 services. It was just ridiculous. I just, I, I was anything I was kind of good at, you know, I was like, just, I'm, a, I'm putting it out there. This is what I'm doing. And then uh, the video and the photography stuff just really, just really took off. So it kind of chose me in that, in that sense. That's, that's really awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, so what was your mission on the outset when you first started? So say like the video, you know, and the photography that chose you. What was your mission when you first realized that that's something that chose you and it's something that you're going to go with? Um, it was really the impact that I have with the people that I was working with. Um, so once I created the video uh, for them, um, and, and, and that's the whole process too. It's, it's from talking about what they want to do. And then after the final result is done, uh, just the appreciation that they have for the overall product when it's done. And then the thing that they get, you know, when they put it out there and, and it helps them get to that next step of where they're trying to go, that it's, that's probably like, so it's so rewarding, so rewarding for me. Cause I know I played a part in that, in that step. You're doing something really special because you're creating a lot of awesome memories for people. So yeah. that is that is something really, really cool. That is awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, so the struggles that you face, what was your biggest struggle when you, you know, like in your day to day or in your weekly, you know, do you have any struggles ongoing or did you used to have struggles in the beginning, but you like overcome them? A good question. Um, I think everybody has struggles and I definitely had a, a ton of struggles um, in the beginning. I'm still going through, I think as an entrepreneur, as you grow, you're always going to find more and more struggles and challenges that you're going to, that you're going to come across. Um, I, I said this in, an, in a previous podcast that I did, but I think the biggest uh, hurdle that I had to get over it was understanding cash flow, um, cash flow management. Um, because in the beginning as an entrepreneur, you're just trying to get what whatever you possibly can, you know, you just, you, you want to get work, you want to get business and, and you're just taking whatever. And you're not really, you're not really understanding how the money's coming and going. So you're just thinking that, Hey, hey I have this, this is coming in or, you know, cause it just comes in such small amounts, you know, as, as you're getting started. So it's understanding about the cash flow and the different seasons. So I, there was a time where I had a really big, uh, it was a, it was everything was going very well in summer, and then shortly after that winter, everything just went down because over here uh, <laughs> the winter just slows down everything. I mean, we just have tons of snow and just every, it's cold. You know, <laughs> nobody wants to do nothing out here in the Midwest, so uh, it just everything slowed down. I didn't know how to take that as an I didn't know what to do, and I wasn't planning for that. So like my cash just you know went down, and I just had to do what I had to do. Um, but it, it just prepared me for the next time to understand cash flow management. So, so that was one big, one big part for, for me. Um, there's a ton of other challenges uh, that I overcame, um, especially in the beginning, but I just say, just stick through it and just do whatever you have to do. There's no, no shame in it. And the failures is, is our lear learning steps for you. That is, <clears throat> you know, you're saying that I'm so passionate about that sentence that you've just said, I've actually got goosebumps because that is so true. You just have to stick through it. Um, and that's why I've created this podcast because I've got entrepreneurial friends that they give up very quickly and it's just, you know, you just have to keep pushing yourself. You can't give up. Yeah. I yeah. definitely, definitely get that. So apart from the money, what is the other driving factor that is driving you in your business and your goals and your dreams? What is that thing that drives you? Uh, legacy. So I just, I want to, I want to create a legacy. Um, I just don't want to be another tombstone that people don't remember. Um, and, and I really want to create something for my family. You know, um, I don't have any kids now, but whenever that does come, you know, having, you know, kind of a, something there for them um, as they go along. And then also it's just legacy in the sense of how many people you're touching every single person that you work with, or you're having a conversation with, or you're, as an entrepreneur, it's inspiring for people to see that, you know, that you're, you're kind of going against the grain and, and doing something for yourself, you know? So it's that, it's that inspiration and that legacy. I just want to leave by, you know, when it's all said and done. Um, yeah, that's definitely it. That's awesome. I love that. That is a really, really awesome answer. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> 
yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> wow that's that's really really cool so apart um so your okay so i'm just trying to rephrase me, myself a little bit here so your business uh, would you travel for your business would you um do you stay within your state or do you because like you mentioned that you know winters is a little bit hard for business on your side would you go to say i don't know florida or wherever it's sunny to go and do business for other people are you on that level with your business um yeah so uh we do travel we travel uh, quite a bit um it's it's been more so now um and yeah, the winters are a little rough, but um, it's 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 all about on how you adapt to it, you know. So we okay. still we still now found a lot of different things we can do now in the winter, um, you know, to kind of get us through that through that time. Um, but yeah, we definitely travel around um, with parts in the state, and we've been to uh, London twice as well. Oh, nice! That's really really cool. Um, and that's quite different from the States, I, I assume. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely different in the States, but I love it. I love it. Um, such a good place. Such a good place. That's, that's awesome. What do you, what do you attribute to your success? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, so like, what, like, what do I, what, what do, you, do I give my success to? Yeah. Like, yeah um i would i would say i mean for me personally it would be uh just the hard work and grit you know to do whatever it takes um it, powering through those moments where you don't want to uh you don't want to do it you know and and you have to because no one else is going to do it there for you i mean our team um you know i have a team of people now but it's it's um, it's still up to me to make, you know, to keep everything going um, at this point. Um, so I would definitely say the hard work, uh, just the no excuses mentality um, for it. But also I would say um, just right there with that would be um, surrounding yourself with positive people, you know, um, positive people, like-minded individuals, get out all the, which I call bums. So they're just people that just don't really, they have no motivation they're not really doing nothing they're kind of negative maybe they're just stuck in their ways there's people you shouldn't really be around you know just cut those people out surround your circle uh or surround yourself with a, a positive circle so you know my my saying that I, I say to a lot of people is change your circle change your life you know because that's it's such a, a powerful statement um because depending on who you're around will make all the difference that is so true and i'm so grateful that you said that because i feel like sometimes a lot of people don't really understand how powerful that can be for yourself um so tell us a little bit about your business and you know so i'm gonna give you i would say two minutes of time so tell us about your business what exactly your services are where people can find you we will definitely drop links on the bottom but just also you know just mention your links and just tell us what you what you can do for people Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do a video production company and, uh, we work with a lot of corporate clients, um, individual branding, uh, for people. So like speakers, trainers, um, or even entrepreneurs themselves as they're trying to figure out their brand and their messaging. Um, we help with that and we also do video production for events. So a lot of big conferences, um, different keynote presentations, um, different events, trade shows, uh, all sorts of stuff. So our services kind of are in that in that niche area um, with branding and really getting across a message through storytelling. That's a lot. You guys must be busy. <laughs> <laughs> we try to stay busy. Yeah, and, <laughs> we try and, to stay busy. <laughs> and a website. Do you have a website? Oh, yeah. Website uh, is uh, Forever Productions. Um, that's F-O-U-R-E-V-A uh, Productions with an S dot com. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see a lot of our work there and uh, different faces from the team. And uh, yeah, you can get a real good sense of what we do. That's awesome. And but we will also will drop the link link on the bottom of the of the video and also of the podcast. And if you, just one last thing out there, if you can give any inspiring words to startup entrepreneurs, what will that be? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't think any 
one any one little word is gonna is gonna help them. I I I, I would say that um, the excitement in the beginning is is you know you get so pumped up for what you're about to do or what you're doing in the very beginning. Um, but when those moments get very low and very dark, um, you have to push through those moments if you're going to succeed. Everybody has done it. Um, yeah. Everybody has had those moments where you have to push through them. Um, no matter how hard it gets, it, it, it's just something that's it's considerate part of the job, part of what you have to do. Um, and I also would say that the timing, everybody is waiting for that time when they can kind of hit that big account or um, their brand kind of hits that point where they're getting the recognition that they deserve or um, they kind of get over that that hump in their business um, just know that everything comes within uh, divine timing is what I believe you know so some people it takes longer some people it takes quicker but if your time will come you just, if you knock on the door long enough it will open eventually that's very inspiring words and thank you so much for that and thank you for having this interview with me I really appreciate that and um, yeah, will, thank you so much for having me. I will probably see you around sometime, I'm sure, you know, on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. We'll definitely keep in touch. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you so much and have a great evening. I think you are on. <laughs> yes. Yes, about afternoon, evening right here. <laughs> I'm early morning. That's the beauty of New Zealand. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, country difference, time difference. It's, it's pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's very crazy. Very crazy. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Bye.